Today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the mounting brackets for Boat Buckle G2 retractable ratchet tie down straps. Part number IMF14254. So you can see with our mounting bracket in place that it's going to bring it out and away so that our straps going to be nice and straight with no binds, kinks, and not going to be rubbing up against anything. You can adjust this bracket in multiple different variations to give you different turns, twists, or put it in a different place. If you so choose with this trailer, you can see that it also has a mounting point here, here, or you can mount it anywhere on your boat frame or chassis. All right, here you can see our strap already in place with it being mounted straight to the frame of the trailer. The strap is gonna be rubbing up against the side of the trailer and guides. You can see that it's gonna be twisted down here at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is put that hardware here on the end to where it's actually gonna kick it out a little more so it's not gonna be rubbing up and damaging the strap over time. Let's go ahead and remove the old boat buckle. That way we can mount the hardware on and relocate that boat buckle for that safer ride. Go ahead and place the bracket on with whatever angle that you choose to have it at. And then we'll go ahead and mount the bracket on. Place the washer and the bolt on. And then thread on the nut from the bottom side. We'll go ahead and use our tools to tighten it down. Once you have it in place, we'll go ahead and take the old hardware, place it through, place the nut and washer in place and thread it back on. Go ahead and readjust this so it's not in the way of the license plate. Go ahead and press the release button on the boat buckle and pull it up into place. You can see that it's now going to be clear. And you can adjust it to where it's going to be straight. And that'll do it for our review of the mounting brackets for the boat buckle G2 retractable tie down straps. Part number IMF14254.